Okay, we're here with our second build project of the camp, uh, which is catapult. So this is mostly our own design on this. Um, you're going to need three pencils. You can either use round ones like this or the um, hexagon shaped ones with the angles like this. You're going to need some kind of a little catch cup uh, like this. Uh, duct tape, uh, one popsicle stick, a paint stir stick from like a hardware store. A uh, piece of 2x4 that's uh, around 8 inches or so, and of course, a uh, drill, glue gun. We've also got a, a hammer and a staple gun here. I'm going to start by taking the drill and drilling two holes on the sides. I want to kind of drill them toward the outside, but not so close that it splits the wood. So I'm about like that. You want to drill down about halfway through the wood. You definitely don't want to go through into what the surface you're drilling on. So uh, it may be useful to have a board underneath so you don't drill too far. Okay, you're going to start with that and then uh, if you take your pencils, now sometimes what helps with the pencils is take needle nose pliers and just to pull off um, the metal eraser part. And if they're cheap pencils like these are, I think, from the dollar store, then you just get the wood. And then you can just hammer them down like that. And I'll use this angled one just to show you that it works just as well in that size of a hole. And hammer that down a little bit. And you want to make sure that you get these fairly even across and straight up and down. Uh, then we are going to um, take our stir stick. Oh, first actually I need the rubber bands. So I need a couple of rubber bands. I guess I didn't mention that part. And I need to make a crossbar with the rubber band. So I'm going to take the rubber band and angle it across both pencils, twist it, and then put it around again. Twist it put it around again, twist it, put it around again. I'm going to do that till this is tight. That's fairly tight there. Uh, and then do the same thing to the other side. Loop it and twist it until it's fairly tight. I still want to be able to slide this up and down because that can help me change where I'm firing. Um, so maybe something like that to start off with. Then I'm going to take the uh, paint stir stick, which is going to be the arm of the catapult here. And I'm going to get a piece of duct tape. And I'm going to kind of make a hinge basically out of duct tape. So I'm going to lay this down on the paint stick. But then I want to take my popsicle stick and have it so it's about um, one popsicle stick width away from the edge. And put the duct tape down like that. And then I'm going to take my staple gun here and I'm going to staple that popsicle stick down so it holds the tape from ripping. Kind of go at an angle seems to work a little bit better. Okay, something kind of like that. Now I've got a pretty decent hinge for this and I can wrap the tape around um, like that. Okay, and then uh, for the next step, and this is pretty much the finale, you're going to take your cup, and you don't have to use a little cup. You could use um, any kind of little container uh, paper cup cut down, uh, toilet paper tube, uh, bottle cap if you had to, but this seems to be a little bit bigger size. And I'm going to glue it on, not right on the end, I'm going to give myself a little handle to hold on to, but just take a little bit of glue and stick it right there like that. Be careful not to burn yourself with the glue. And I got something like this. Then my last step is to then take a rubber band and um, take that and let's see actually I'll use you can either do two strands or one so I'm just going to do one strand and put it over like this so then it'll fire like that 
put, uh, typically we use marshmallows, the campfire roasting ones, they seem to work, but you can do anything, it'll fire it. If you want to change the angle here, um, like get it to fire at a, at a higher angle, you can lift up the crossbar a little bit. So it doesn't give you a lot of adjustment, but it does give you a little bit. And now it's firing at a higher angle, plus it stretches the rubber band more. And you can also take the rubber band and put it both ends under the paint stick, and that gives you a little more firepower. There's the catapult.